Do you like dupe clone fragrances? Because for me personally, I am not, at least on my page right now, I, I'm not interested in reviewing dupe houses like Dossier and Alt and also Alexandrian. I don't know what it, what it is. Um, I think I've tried some Armoffs, like I've tried Club de Nuit Intense Man and Club de Nuit Intense Woman. And as standalone fragrances, they're pretty nice, but compared to the originals, like it doesn't really hold like a candlelight to smelling exactly like Creed events. It's like there's similarities, but you know, there's of course that obvious synthetic smell to it. And with Noir de Noir, um, the Club de Nuit Intense Woman one, it's just mainly the, the uh, saffron and the rose and geranium that I get off of Club de Nuit Intense Woman versus like a really luxurious dark chocolate, rose, wine, Valentine's Day kind of scent. At least that's the way that I view it now um, because I've been able to compare it and yeah, it's just, it just kind of falls a bit flat for me personally. But if you're somebody that enjoys dupes and clones, go for it because I know that some the price for these things can be expensive. You know what I mean? So I will never knock anybody for, you know, buying what they want to in their, yeah, like buying pretty much whatever they want. For me personally, not really a fan. And I think there's something that and I'm just, I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to be honest that like, I just, I don't like the idea of, I mean, I know like with Dior and Chanel, I'm sure, I'm not sure if they have a master perfumer. They probably do. Um, but I know that I've, I've watched some videos and I've read some things where these perfumers, like sometimes they put in years to like craft something that they really want and they go like into detail and they really are just like honed in and focused and then they put out that product and then like a couple years later or months later like companies like alt and that they just get like cheaper ingredients and then they remake it and then they sell it for cheap you know what i mean it's just very i don't know if i if i like that just the the morality of it but i know that people don't give a fuck about morals when it comes to buying something cheap it's like the same reason why you don't see a lot of people buying from like mom and pop shops versus like big monsters like Amazon and Walmart because it's convenient and it's affordable, right? So I get it, I get it, but I always got to thinking because creating a fragrance and even like a brand down the line for me is something I definitely want. And I'm not saying that it would like, I mean, it would be great if I would be able to have like a really successful line and stuff like that. But just the thought of, I don't know, putting in the work and you know making a scent that i truly want and then it being ripped off i don't it just doesn't sit with me right i, I hope this doesn't come across as like controversial or anything like that but i'm just talking about the dupe houses specifically like people are like can you do like an overview of dossier and it's just not um it's just not on my radar right now just because i think for me it weighs heavier when i get an email from like raja parfums or maison francis kirk john or like Arabian Oud, you know, M. Mikalef versus something from Dossier, both offering, this, uh, both offering the same opportunity is what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, buy whatever you want to. I just want to put my perspective, my two cents in there because sometimes people come on my page asking for me, asking me to review more dupes and dupe clones instead of like originals for the most part. But yeah, just not something that I want to do right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll do more fragrance videos uh, or, or anything that really comes to my mind. And I'll see you, see you next time or in the next one. Okay, bye.